Hey everybody, it's Todd Scoby here with CIR Realty. I've got a special guest today because we want to have a quick rate review with everybody and share some of our knowledge. Um, I have Brian Gentles with Axiom Mortgage Solutions. I've been working with Brian for quite a long time and he's certainly the expert uh, when it comes to mortgages. So whenever you ask me a question, I will always defer to Brian. So here we are, Brian, welcome, thanks for coming. Todd, thanks for having me. A pleasure. Yeah, it's my pleasure. I'm excited to do this. So, so we'll keep it short. We have a few questions that I just wanted to go over. As as I said, rate uh, Bank of Canada rate announcement on Wednesday, March sixth, a couple of days ago, and they basically said there was no change. So, first of all, what does no change actually mean to buyers, Brian? Well, we have to break it down into the different types of mortgages that are being offered. And, and no change from the Bank of Canada in what they call their overnight rate means that lenders will not change their prime rate and variable rate mortgages are based on prime minus something. Okay. And, and so there's no change to, if you have an existing variable rate mortgage, a secured line of credit, something of that nature, then there's no change in your payments going forward. Um, now, the minus something is dictated by the lender. So for somebody that has an existing mortgage or a commitment in place, your minus something is, is stable. Um, you're, of course, dealing with buyers. Somebody comes to the table tomorrow, next week, next month. The minus something is dictated by the lenders, not the Bank of Canada. Okay. So right now, prime minus something ranges from prime minus 0.15 to prime minus 0.9, depending on what rate tier we're in. Okay, and that's something you obviously help clients with, understand, see, find out what the best product is for their needs, right? Correct, and it breaks down into three tiers. Okay. Um, the first tier is people that are buying with less than 20% down payment, so they're paying high ratio mortgage insurance. So they are paying the premium, which protects the lender, which means the lender's cost of money is the least. They have no, the lender has no risk in the equation. And those people are getting the best rates. For instance, um, on a five-year fixed, 4.99%. 4 At okay. the other end of the spectrum, somebody that wants 30-year amortization, buying a property over a million dollars, buying a rental property, they fall into the third tier, which on a five-year fixed right now is 5.67 to 5.82%. Okay. And then there's a middle tier that the non-bank lenders, and this is a great advantage to your buyers, Todd. Um, and it means they're buying a principal residence. It's under a million dollars. They can work with 25-year amortization. And then the rates differ depending on their down payment anywhere from 4.99 to 5.24%, depending on what their percentage down payment is. So so we work through all these options uh, with your buyers. Okay, awesome information. Obviously, the advantage to working with a mortgage broker is everything you just said. Um, and that's certainly something that I speak to all the time with my clients and in buyer meetings and that type thing. So yeah, for sure. Thank you for that. Um, real quick, I want to know your thoughts on where do you think rates are going? Are they going to go up? Are they going to go down? Are they going to stay the same? Um, next rate announcement is what? April, April 12th. 12th, 2024? Yeah. So what's your crystal ball prediction? Crystal ball rolled off the desk and down the hill. <laughs> Mine too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think we have to accept that rates are what they are. So over the last little while, fixed rates have been coming down by maybe um, half a point, 60 basis points. And that's the ebbs and flows between stock markets and bond markets. Okay. Um, variable rates have been fairly steady. The Everybody has a has a hope and, and, and maybe a realistic expectation that rates will come down later this year. But the governing council from the Bank of Canada is very clear that they want to see sustained lower inflation. Okay. So not just one month coming down into the acceptable range. So Bank of Canada says the acceptable range is 1% to 3%. Um, I listened to Tiff Macklem, governor of the Bank of Canada here in Calgary a few months ago, 
He is dead set on getting it to 2%. He was challenged on that from a variety of different people um, in the audience and in the panel. And he is dead set on getting it to 2%. And he's not right. budging off that. Okay. Well, let's say that does happen or even a half a point, point percent. We all know what what the ha what's going to happen to the market at that point is prices are going to increase because interest rates are a bit more affordable. And we've got a whole bunch of buyers on the sidelines just waiting for something just like that to happen. Exactly. More buyers in, will come into the active marketplace. Right. Yeah. So you're like me advising everybody, I'm sure, that if you're going to wait for rates to drop, prices are only going to increase, correct? I think that's a fair assessment. Yeah. Okay. So the summary would be nothing has well, changed. Yeah, go on. I was going to say, if you put 16, econ like we're not economists, but we right. spend a lot of time listening to them. Okay. Put 16 economists in a room, you're going to get 20 opinions. If you want to listen to the economist that says rates are going down, by all means, um, and be hopeful. Okay. So let's wrap up with best advice would be contact myself or yourself, have a better conversation. If you contact me, I'm going to have them contact you anyways. So then we can have a broader conversation about what's actually right for the specific client at that point in time. Fair? Absolutely. That's our process time after time. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Brian, for coming. I'm happy to share Brian's info with anybody that wants to know more or myself. So thanks, guys. Have a great day. Thanks, thanks Todd. Bye. Appreciate it.